Gun violence in America is quickly becoming an epidemic, leaving communities trying to cope with senseless acts of violence. In Virginia, a student graduating high school and his father were gunned down at graduation. This incident, along with others, come on the heels of new research which says the U.S. gun violence reached new highs in 2021. A candlelight vigil in Saratoga County, New York for Kaylin Gillis, 20 year old, fatally shot in April after her friend turned into the wrong driveway. The 20 year old Gillis is among the more than 18,000 people who have died of gun violence so far this year. That's according to the Gun Violence Archive. And so is Ajika A.J. Owens, the 35 year old mother of four from Florida who was fatally shot last week after an argument with a neighbor escalated. My grandchildren's mother was shot and killed with her nine-year-old son standing next to her. She had no weapon. She posed no imminent threat to anyone. Samuel Schwartz, who lost his cousin in the 2018 Parkland shooting, is holding a multi-day sit-in at the U.S. Capitol. After every shooting, we hear on Twitter that, that lawmakers and, 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 and uh, citizens call for action, but, but there's no action taken. So uh, that's why uh, I decided to lead this, and that's why all these people are here with me. We are here to, to make sure that something happens. A new report from the Johns Hopkins Center for Gun Violence Solutions says gun violence in the U.S. hit a record high in 2021 with nearly 49,000 gun deaths with increases in both gun-related homicides and suicides. We are hoping that Leader Schumer listens to us and puts the assault weapons ban on the Senate floor for a vote immediately. The report from Johns Hopkins also says guns are the leading cause of death for children and teenagers in the U.S. That's a new trend that just eclipsed car accidents here in Michigan. According to every stat, Michigan sees an average of nearly 1400 deaths associated with gun violence and overall the state ranking right in the middle 25th for the rate of gun deaths in the U.S.